In the last video, we converted our Flask server to a Flask API server. Now in this video, we will create additional API requests, and hopefully this will help you imagine other custom API requests you will want to make yourself. So let's switch back over to the application. Now, under the API requests, Let's go ahead and let's create a new class object or new request. Now, if you're not all that Pythonic, I apologize. I'm going to create comprehensions to do searches. But go ahead and follow along. You might learn something if you're not familiar with this. So go ahead, let's create a class uh, called name, extend the resource class and then create a new git method. So we're going to say define git. And then for this one, we're going to say self and then value. Now you could call it name if you'd like, but I'm going to stick it at value. And then I'm going to say return a list comprehension. And I'm going to say object because that's what we're doing is dictionary objects. Object for object in records and then we're going to say if object name in other words the key name to lower so either if you type in uppercase or lowercase it'll automatically convert it to lower and then do a comparison lower dot and we're doing starts with And we're going to say, check the current value, and then lower that as well. Starts with it, and then returns that comprehension. So now, if we come back to our server, refresh it. Oh, almost forgot something. We need to make sure we add the API, so we come down and register the API after we've created it. API, add, resource, name, comma, and then we will do forward slash API, forward slash, name, and then one more forward slash, and then we type string value so this is the variable name in our resource class name right there let's save that jump on back refresh and then if we type name forward slash and then let's start it with D and it gives us a response. So I can now go through this and I get multiple responses. Let's do the same thing for email. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. name resource self value resource records and instead I'm just gonna change this to email and then we're going to do the API and add a resource we're gonna call it email and then simply I'm gonna copy that string instead of having to type it and type email so now if I come back here and I change this up to email oh got an error ah I see what happened okay so let's run it again email is not defined forgot to change it to email
all the emails that start with A. Now one last one we can use is we can use the next function. So let's do the same thing with the email. Paste that. Actually change this. And we'll call it single email and now this time instead we'll call the function next which will grab the next iteration in a list and then let's add that API So now if we come here, API, and we called it email, that's probably not good. Let's call it, just in this example, search. Oh, didn't like the fact that it was a list. It needs to be a tuple. There we go. And the result is just the first result. So go ahead. I hope that inspired you a little bit. Go ahead and play around with it. Break it. Go back and forth. Shorten it. Do whatever you can with it. Have fun.